हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज अबाउट हाउ टू अपटेन ऑल एंड ऑफ मंथ डेट्स फ्रॉम स्टार्ट डेट टू एंड डेट हियर आई हैव माय डेटा सेट ऑन व्हिच वी विल बी वर्किंग एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन द होल ऑफ दिस कांसेप्ट थ्रू दिस पर्टिकुलर डेटा सेट नाउ लेट अस क्विकली लुक इनटू द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम इन हियर आई हैव id underscore num variable and a start underscore date and end underscore date in here for our first observation and what i want from this is month and date that is i want end of month for this particular month and all other months which fall within this month so 2021 0 1 31 which is end of this month and the next month 2021 02 28 which is for the next month and as our end date is 2021 03 05 end date the month end date should end here and i should have 2021 03 0 31 of so, and same thing should happen for observation 2 and also observation 3 i have just taken observation 1 to keep things simple To do this, we need to understand two interval functions in SAS. For these two functions, I am not going to go in great detail, but I will give some links from which you can understand these functions little bit more. And the first function which we want to understand is known as INTCK. So, if you see the function name itself, it has INT and CK. INT means interval, CK means check. what this interval function does is whenever you give two dates it will tell you what is the interval between those two dates now let us quickly look into the syntax in the syntax we need to first give the intck function and followed by three arguments in general intck function can have four arguments for our purpose three arguments are more than enough and in here the first argument is always interval and the second and third argument are dates so what this intck function does is it takes up these two dates and calculates how many intervals it has and as we have asked for month it gives us the result in month and let's try to understand this two with an example in here when our start date is 2021016 and end date is 2021030 here we have two months and that is what this will result into when we take this particular observation now that we have seen intck function now let us quickly run our data set now let us quickly use the above created data set and use our intck function on it once we use our intck function we are creating a new variable which we are calling val and in the output data you can see that it has a value of 2 for the first observation and 3 for next two observations indicating that this is the interval difference between these two dates now let us talk about intnx function intnx function has two parts to it to understand it better int means interval nx means next what this function really does is it takes a particular date and then it computes to the new date as per the interval provided now let us try to understand this by one of the observation which we have used previously in here i have 2021016 this is my start date and to understand this again we also need to quickly look into the syntax of intnx function intnx function has four arguments the first argument is month second argument is date and third argument is the amount which we want to change and the fourth argument is after incrementing we want the increment to be the end of that particular increment or beginning of that particular increment or same of that particular increment or any other thing but for now we are just 
interested in to know about end of the increment in here we have a start date and we want to increment by one month and then we want it to go to the end of the month so when we provide this particular value 2021-01-16 as our start date and we want to increment by month and that too by one month and also we want it to go to the end of the month what this does is it increments Jan 16, 2021 to 28 Feb 2021 because we are not only incrementing by month but we are also pushing it to end of the month here E simply means end now whatever we have discussed in the int nx function now let us use the same in the code with the data set which we have created before in here we have already discussed about int ck function here we are having int nx function with what I have discussed here but the value we are capturing in a variable which is known as month and underscore date and then I'm also using format on this particular variable month and underscore date and then I'm saying it as yymmdd10 dot and now let us quickly run this and see our results in the result what you can see is as we have incremented by one month the Jan value has gone into Feb and also we are going into end of the month same in the case of second observation wherein the value of the month is 7 and here it is going into 8 and it is going to end of the month and the value of month is 4 in here and then the value is going to go in 5 so now we have understand the two important functions of int ck and int nx now by using these two functions let us see how we can solve our problem now let us again take the first observation and try to understand how we can solve this problem by using these two functions now in the first observation we have start date of 2021 01 16 and end date of 2021-0305 and we want this particular values that is 2021-0131, 2021-0228 and 2021-0331. So this we can do simply by incrementing and doing intnx function as we have 2021-0116 the end of the month if we have to take what we can simply do is we can increment by zero months in intnx function and we can give e as our fourth argument and this will take to 2021-0131 and now that we have 2021-0131 we are also capturing this value in our month and underscore date if we increment it by one month this will go to 2021-02-28 and if we increment by 2 it will take us to 2021-03-31 so by slowly incrementing 0 to 2 we can get our results but uh, this is all hard coding but how we can solve this without hard coding like this it is again simple we want to capture this value into variable val and here we know that the variable val will have the value of 2 so we have 2 here and then what we can simply do is we can write something like do i equal to 1 to val and then i don't need these two lines here anymore and then what i can do is i can do instead of giving a hard coded value i can simply say i and then i can also say output and then and what this will do is the val value will be 2 and then we want to loop it from 0 to 2 and then when it is 0 we are going to get this value and then 
in the loop it increments to 1 and then we get this value and then we will again go to 2 and then this will also output our row and then we will get this observation as now we have reached the end point it will no longer go into the loop by simply using this do loop by picking up this int ck value we can get our result i have discussed only for one observation but this happens for second observation wherein initially the capturing of our intck value happens and then the value we have for next observation the val value it will loop through and it outputs all those observations and the same happens with our third observations again the value of the val is captured and then it will loop through and it will give us all the observations now let us quickly run all of this code what i have discussed in one complete code and then see our result and in here you can see that for id underscore num1 our start date 2021 we have 2021 and till 2021 we have all the three observations which i have shown you and the same is the case with id num2 and same is the case with id num3 where you have a starting point and it loops through the ending point to give all the values we have expected so once we have this there is no significance of start date end date and val and i value here and i would like to drop those by quickly writing keep equal to id underscore num and also month underscore date because that is what we are really interested in now once we run this code you can see that we have the results as expected and here what i really wanted to tell is by understanding couple of functions and a do loop we are able to solve a problem so it is very important to understand fundamentals and then try to solve a problem that's all for this topic if you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you